everybody, it's Thursday, I'm outside and I'm holding my phone, I just needed some um, vitamin D and uh, phone's out and um. So I've been, I'll probably move a lot, sorry, I'm actually going to read something to you guys here in just a minute but um, you know I shared in my post a minute ago that um, you know it's not really been the easiest week and you know, unfortunately, um, you know, sometimes I, do, I have those. Everybody does. I mean, no one feels great all the time, right? I mean, if you do, then amazing. I'm very excited <laughs> if you feel good all the time. Um, but, you know, a lot of people suffer from chronic illnesses or autoimmune diseases and things like that. And, you know, they're hard. Um, over the past year I've been diagnosed with two things and um, you know I've shared some of it and well most of it because I'm an open book guys I don't care I mean there has to be somebody out there that it can help so why not share right um, so this week you know I shared that the kids had been in camp all week so it's been, that's kind of been a, an adjustment in itself um, but on top of that, I've just not had a good week. Like, it's just been hard. Um, when I eat, it hurts really bad. Um, so that makes me not want to eat, which isn't good. So, anyway, I'm going to read something because I think so many times, like, especially this week, whenever I'm laying here and I'm upset and, you know, I'm feeling like a failure because, you know, I have all this free time without my kids and what have I done? Mm pretty much nothing because I don't feel like it so instead of feeling like a failure guys like you really need to like give yourself some grace because God gives us grace but I'm gonna read this Drew got me this book Jesus always um, for Mother's Day and I already read through the other one I don't remember what it's called uh, it's inside but anyway I'm gonna read this this is today's um, little devotion um, because you know, we worry so much about if others approve of us, and really we just need to make sure that God approves of us, and that, you know, we all have struggles, okay? Like, it's just the way it is. We do. Whether it's health, whether it's um, relationships, whether it's finances, whether it's, oh my goodness, it, your children, your husband, I mean, it could just be anything, okay? So listen to this today. It says, I approve of you, my child, because you are mine, adopted into my royal family. I see you through eyes of grace. I chose you before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in my sight. I know you fall short of this perfect standard in your daily living, but I view you as holy and blameless because this is your permanent position in my kingdom. Of course, I don't endorse everything you do or fail to do. Still, I approve of you your true self, the one I created you to be. I know how much you long for my affirmation and how hard it is for you to accept it. I want you to learn to see yourself and others through grace vision. Looking through eyes of grace, you can focus more on what is good and right than on what is bad and wrong. You learn to cooperate yeah, with me and embrace what I'm doing in your life, transforming you into my likeness with ever increasing glory. I not only approve of you, I delight in you. Guys, that last part is it for me. Um, a year ago, before I had this diagnosis and my sickness, you know, I'll just be honest, like I I chose to kind of live, I mean, I'm, I've been a Christian my, since I was seven years old, okay? And, but I am very much like to be in control of things and I have a really hard time turning things over. Um, I believe, you know, that God allows us to go through these things um, to make us more like Him. I mean, I I have had to rely on Him more in the past year than I've, I've ever had to. Um, you know, I mean, I hate that I have to say that, but it's the truth. I mean, I'm embarrassed of it, to be honest with you. But I know that He is making me into His image. And so... I tell Chad this all the time and you know my family that if this is the cross I have to carry to help me be more like Christ and it makes me want to cry then 
I'm glad it happened. I'm glad I have to struggle sometimes. You know, I'm glad for the struggle. And um, I don't have to be perfect to anybody else. You know, I just, I just need to trust um, in God and rely on His strength to get through day to day. So guys, like, if you, thank you, Candace. Um, if you, you know, worry about trying to be perfect for people, it, it's truly pointless. Um, you know, I, I hate saying like that this week I've had to lay on the couch a lot, you know, to some people, because I know that's not their mentality. You know, they are go-getters and, um, you know, it makes me feel like a failure. But at the same time in this week, in those moments when I have felt that bad, you know, that's when I hear God's sweet voice so much. Um, and like I said, it's making me more into who he wants me to be. And so I'm thankful for the struggle. And I just wanted to encourage you guys today that you don't have to be perfect in man's um, eyes at all. Um, you know, I, I put that I, you know, put on my red lipstick and put a smile on. Because I'll be honest, I went to the gym this morning. I feel like there is a bug. There was. <laughs> Oh, the live video is outside. That's fun. Um, I went to the gym this morning and pushed really hard to work out, even though it was awful and it hurt so bad, but I refused to give up. But I came home and did nothing. And um, it was awful, you know? It just stinks. Um, I don't even have the kids at home. I mean, I, and I accomplished nothing. But I have had such sweet time with God today, and so, I mean, that's really worth it all, but when I got up finally and, you know, had my shower, I thought, you know, I have a lot to smile about. I, um, I'm a child of the King, and, um, you know, I know not everybody believes that, and um, but I will always share my faith because I believe it very strongly, and I'm proud of it, and I'm thankful for it. Um, but I thought, you know, I'm going to put on some red lipstick and smile. And, you know, it made me feel better. So sometimes guys just try to, you know, get in, get in God's word, have some prayer time in those times. I mean, he's always there for you. You just like, I always think of God as always being there and having, I think I, that flies, <laughs> and always having his hand out. Okay. And all you have to do is let go of yourself and grab his hand. He's always going to be there to hold it, okay? So, man, this fly's my new best friend today. <laughs> All right, I'm getting sidetracked because of the fly. I just wanted to share that. The, um, if you don't have this book, Jesus Always, it's really good. I think there's a couple more. I have the first one that was ever released by um, Sarah Young, but they're just really, like... Um, short quick little devotionals that have major power to them okay so um i always feel like when i read them i'm like oh that was for me today and that one could have not been more of what i needed today than um you know so it was just perfect so they're not that expensive at all so just i'm sure you can get them at like lifeway and places um amazon probably has them everybody shops on amazon um but get you something that you know is if you're not good at sitting down and reading the Bible, which I'm not always, get something like this that you can, um, I'm sorry, it's starting to thunder now, um, that you can just pick up and read every morning and um, just helps to encourage you and spend time. But God's hand's always there. You just have to reach out and grab it, okay, guys? So I love you all. I thank you for hopping on and listening, and I hope so bad that it touches somebody today. See you guys later. Bye.